This is a graceful watchman. I want to make another video here about the censorship of YouTube. And just point out the fact that YouTube is really trying to censor every single video about any mass shooting out there. And I'll almost prove that. Give you a couple examples. Now my channel, uh, a Sandy Hook video, a video that was released six years ago, right, has been taken down by YouTube this year, 2018. Okay? So, it's recent that YouTube's trying to do this stuff. Now, here's another video. A video on a channel called Fisher of Men. Alright, this video was made showing us it by Lone Star 1776. And Fisher of Men is actually in jail right now for speaking the truth about the world. The powers that be attacked him. But he had three videos removed. It's two or three. But I think it's two. But he had two or three videos removed. He's not even operating his channel right now because he's in jail. But two or three of his videos that were both about mass shootings, one was about Sandy Hook, and the other one was about La the Las Vegas shooting, both of them were got removed for the same reason that mine did, because of community guidelines, all right? Because they say it's harassment, all right? Now, Alex Jones, now I don't defend Alex Jones, I attack Alex Jones, but Alex Jones had one of his videos removed about the recent Parkland shooting in Florida. Where he was talking about one of the crisis actors of David Hogg. Alright. So I just want to make a quick video about this and let everyone know that YouTube is really clamping down on these videos now. Uh, in the past, YouTube, if they didn't agree with something you were saying on your on the politics of your video or anything like that, they'd usually just um, mine your data for for the words that are coming out. And they would automatically just demonetize your videos. So then it would incentivize people to make more videos because a lot of these people were making money off YouTube. Now, my channel is not monetized and it never will be. But that's what YouTube was doing is they were unmonetizing a lot of people's videos. Now it seems that they're taking it a step further. And anytime you talk about one of these mass shootings, anytime you talk about any of this ridiculous things that are going on, these CIA operations that we know and we've proven many times because these shootings happen all the time, now it seems that people are really starting to catch on to these shootings. It really happened with the Las Vegas shooting. When the Las Vegas shooting happened, a lot of people were talking about it. People that weren't even into the whole topic of conspiracies at all, a lot of people were talking about the Las Vegas shootings being out. So now that they did the Parkland shooting, and yes, they did it, I, you know, there's no doubt about they're doing all these shootings, you know, all the way back to the 90s with the Colorado shootings, all right? No doubt that they're doing it, and now it seems that they're trying to censor this and take the videos down because these mass shootings, people are really starting to catch on, and YouTube's been a good way to get this information out there. So now they're really, really trying to get rid of these shootings, um, and let me just pull up a quote here from William Cooper. I mean, yes, Google has the right to take down videos. It is their website. But, I mean, what's the, what's the real agenda here, you know? What's the real agenda? Now, let me just read you this quote from Behold the Pale Horse, written by William Cooper in 1991, all right? The government encouraged the manufacture and importation of military firearms for criminals to use. This is intended to foster the feeling of insecurity, which would lead the American people to voluntarily disarm themselves by passing laws against firearms, using drugs and hypnosis on mental patients in a process called Orion. The CIA... Incul incalculated 
the desire in these people to open fire on schoolyards and thus inflame the anti-gun lobby. This plan is well underway, and so far is working perfectly. The middle class is begging the government to do away with the Second Amendment. And you can read more. Buy the book Behold the Pale Horse. You can still find it on Amazon, or you can find it on Barnes & Noble. It's a very popular book. You can find it easily. I would encourage everyone to read this book by uh, William Cooper called Behold a Pale Horse. All right. And he predicted this. These, all these mass shootings would happen 35 years ago. It's crazy to think it was 35 years ago now. It, it was pretty much 30 years ago, yeah. Uh, pretty, pretty crazy. 1991. So that's about 30 years, I'd say. Pretty crazy. Crazy times we're living in. Uh, So, what I would do with my channel now is, I do have a Minds, and the link to my Minds and my video, Vimeo is in the description, but I recently checked my Vimeo, and apparently, not only, because Vimeo, you see, they used to have this weekly limit on things, where you can only limit, um, upload a certain amount weekly, now it seems like they have a total limit. Yeah, I thought Vimeo would get better over the years, but... It really, I guess it got worse, um, which is the reason why Vimeo is so held down and won't grow at all because of that weekly limit. And now they have a total limit and they want you to pay, uh, you know, a subscription fee to upload more videos, put them on their servers. But Vimeo is my oldest channel uh, besides YouTube. But pretty much. Uh, I'm not going to be using Vimeo anymore because of that, unless I really decide to give them money. I, I, I might, but most likely I'm not going to be posting here anymore. But anytime I upload a video about a mass shooting or anything YouTube is going to censor in the future, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload it to here on Mines, and then I'll just funnel it through YouTube. So I'll make a video being like, hey, click the link in the description. And I'll, I'm going to see if that works. Um, because YouTube's really censoring people, and I'm not just going to get more strikes on my channel just to throw away the years of work I've done on this channel. I know I haven't posted a lot recently, but that's what I'm going to start doing. So, yeah, guys, YouTube is really clamping down on this censorship. And, you know, before we know it, we're living, we're living in the end times, guys. And before we know it, first they're, they're going to start these mass shooting videos. Then they're going to go after, you know, the whole Illuminati New World Order videos. Then eventually they're going to take down 9-11 videos and so on. And then eventually they're going to go for religious videos and Christian videos. You know, the censorship isn't going to stop. They're just going to keep going and keep going and keep going. Until people are totally ignorant, totally arrogant, and there's no there's no way they can even learn the truth. It's just, it's just done. It's just, they, they censored everything. And if people accept this precedent... Where YouTube's taking down these videos about the mass shootings. Even if you don't agree with it. Even if you think the mass shootings are totally real. If you accept the precedent that YouTube is setting here to censor videos because they don't like it. It's not harassment. It's a political stance. It's debating something about the what we saw in the media. Whether it's true or not. It's a debate. It's not harassment. Just because we're talking about one of the actors. We're not harassing him. We're not going to his Facebook and sending him threatening messages or saying that, you know, he's wrong or anything like this. We're not harassing him. And if you are doing that, you should stop. But what we're doing is we're debating the authenticity of something in a scholarly way. All right. And if you accept the precedent of YouTube censoring these videos, then you accept the precedent of YouTube censoring anything. You accept the precedent of YouTube censoring things. So... Therefore, YouTube will keep doing it, and the other websites will keep doing it. Because, see, this is what the elite of the world do. They will show, if you show them, you can do something. This is like a trial run. If you show them that you'll accept it, they'll do it again, and they'll do it again. That's what the Boston, you know, bombing was about. Hey, let's set a bomb, and let's see if people accept us running around the street declaring martial law and yes the people of boston accepted that 
And this is the same thing we're doing here. You accept this precedent, you don't speak out about it, YouTube will continue to censor other things about other things they don't like, not just mass shootings. So please don't accept this precedent. Everyone make videos of your own. Share, like, subscribe, share this video on Facebook. Do whatever you can to get to get the word out. Because YouTube, not only my channel, but other channels have been being censored. So God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.